What's up? This is Flavor Phil and this is my handy dandy sidekicks in your groundhog. <laughs> and you've just tuned in to the That's So Feb Show, where we have all your fantastic news and trivia. Yes, from dead presidents to African American history. We've got it all. Today we've decided to mix things up with the battle of the sexist competition between Bremen's very own girl club and the wrestling team. Ooh, I could feel the gender tension already. Let's have our teams introduce themselves. Since it's ladies first, let's go wrestling team, starting from your left. 160, Chris. 120, Julio. 145, Adiemi. 170, Brandon. And now moving on to girl club. Let's start from the right side. Sonia. Kelly. Jane. Aaliyah. Fablicious, let's get this month going with the first round. Fast Fab, we're going to alternate between boys and girls. If you get the question wrong, the alternate team gets to answer the question. We're going to answer about Fantastic February. Each question you answer correctly, you will receive one Fablicious point. The team with the most points before time runs out wins the round. Ready? Okay. Senor, hit that gong. All right, first question. This popular February holiday consists of red hearts and chocolates and involves the tradition of showing how much you care for that special loved one. What is the name of this holiday, ladies? Valentine's Day. Correct. Fab awesome. Now, since February is proclaimed as responsible pet owner, and name this device used to link the owner and their fellow pets by means of a simple material and prevents the animal from running away during walks boys leash, leash. correct Fabra. name this fuzzy red animal monster who made his first appearance on sesame street on february 3rd you can even find his popularized ticklish doll in several toy aisles nationwide ladies elmo <laughs> Feb Gorgeous, this famous left-handed basket baseball player, excuse me, also known as the Bambino, played for the Red Sox, Yankees, and the Braves. He shares his birthday with Bob Marley on February 6th. What is the name? Boys. Babe Ruth. Correct. Ladies, we're, you're next. What's the name of the children's show hosted by an elderly man along with his truly red trolley debuted on PPS on February 1919 and later continued for another 33 years. Ladies? Mr. Rogers? Correct. What's the name of this popular chocolate company founded February 9th whose headquarters is located in Pennsylvania? Hershey. Hershey. Correct. Name this. We already did that. It's Elmo. Since February is proclaimed as, we did that one too, excuse me, this popular February, sorry about that, every four years this happens during February. Ladies, what is this? Leap year. Correct. Okay, next question. What famous massacre occurred on Valentine's Day in 1929? Valentine's Day massacre. Good job. What popular snack food is celebrated February 6th through 12th each year, ladies. You know this. You eat it. Chocolate? Chocolate? Incorrect. Boys, would you like to try to steal? Hello? Correct. <laughs> they are not cheaters at all, I promise. What animal represents a holiday in February, ladies? Groundhog. Yes. What Jewish breakfast food has its very own day, gentlemen? In February. Sunday. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Ladies, would you like to try and steal? Pancakes. The gong means we stop. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on. All right. Hmm, excuse me. All right. That's the sound of the beep, which means we've run out of time at the end of round one the boys are left with seven points while the girls have six points it's very close wowza the roof is on fire up in here 
It's time for the physical challenge, round two. February 25th is known as Quiet Day in the world, and to honor it, we've decided to play the classic childhood game, the quiet game. The first team to make a sound loses automatically. It doesn't matter if you give a loud giggle or a short peep or a sheep call. If I can hear it, then you lose. Isn't that right, senor? Ready? To rumble? The giant, the quiet game will start now. I don't even know what just happened. That was a tough battle there for a second. I thought that duck was going to attack and eat me. What is, ooh, okay. Let's tie. Who's win, Magic 8-Ball? The winner is the boys in that round. Congratulations. And now for the final round. We still have... We about to go trick out my boy Tyler's locker. Let's see what you guys missed out on. Let's go. Yo, 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 what up, man? This is, I'm here with my homie Tyler, and we just tricked out your locker. You ready? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's go. go find it. Come on. Let's, let's, let's see go this. Yeah. Thank you. Wait till you see this. I'm, I'm happy. Mm. Mm, bam! There it is. Alright, we're gonna do this on three. Ready? One, two, two. three. Three. Bam! Yeah, there it is. You just tricked it out. Oh, my God. Mm. How you like it? It's amazing. Yeah! So, we got, we decked you out with some of your favorite stuff, like pictures of John Travolta, and we got a lock inside a locker with. Homer Simpson dangling over here. That's what get Bobby Jackson's greatest hits. So that's all good. I don't I don't know how to feel about my locker. Um, I was I don't really like it. I was afraid to tell him that because we were we were on TV and I was just I was scared. I was caught up in the moment and. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it's not my locker. And then I was on a buffalo. <laughs> and I accidentally coughed on Senor Groundhog's tie meal. <laughs> Let's move on to the last round. February 13th is better known as Get a Different Name Day. Is, yes. And that inspired this next one. The name game. We'll show you a picture of a Bremen faculty member. Your job is to guess the name. For each name you guess correctly, that will add to your team's total points. Simply, I will go alternate again, like round one. All right, are we ready? Here we go. The name game. Who is that? <laughs> can I? Can you give a name, please, Aaliyah? Betty. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> I I think that is incorrect. Wrestlers, would you like to steal that? Sure. Nah, I don't. 
That is Officer Smith. Officer Smith. Yes. Good job, senor. All right, the next one. Are we ready? Who is that, ladies? Mr. Barczak. You are correct. He enjoys long walks on the beaches and other stuff. Next, who is this, wrestlers? Mrs. Newman. Correct. Good job. Next, ladies, please. Who is that? Miss Baumbrake. I believe so. Is that correct? Yes? Yes, okay. Very good, ladies. Next. Miss Larson. Larson. Correct. Very good. Ladies, next one. Mr. Lane. Good job. Another point. I should be keeping these points. All right, next, gentlemen. Mr. Matushek. Mr. Matushek. Very good. All right, ladies. Next. Mr. Salgado. Oh, that was fast. Go. Good job. Who is that? Mrs. Galloy. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. All right. Ladies, would you like to steal that? Mrs. Visser. Good job, Kelly. They're not twins, I promise. All right, next. Wrestlers? Mr. Kushner? Mr. Kushner. Yeah. Yeah. That's Mr. Kushner. Good job, wrestlers. All right, ladies, next one. Who is that? Mr. Stale. You didn't hesitate once to answer that. Good job. Next. Boys, we're, okay, we're out of time. All right, thank you for joining us this month on the That's So Feb So. For Senor Groundhog, I'm Flava Phil, and we hope you have a fabulous month. Bye-bye now. Hit that gong.